So 2023, let's talk about it. Roller coaster. Didn't like it. Hated it. That's what everyone has to say about 2023. Let's hope that 2024 is a little bit different. And welcome to the first video of 2024, recorded at the end of 2023 at approximately 9.05 p.m. on 12-31-2023. So last year, well, two years ago, I don't have a concept of time. Well, now it's going to be like three years ago. Uh, who cares? I did a video where I showed my house and everything that has changed since the start of the my renovation series unless it was one year ago not two years ago i don't know my perception my perception of time is like gone like 2020 did a number on me anyways so i did it again i changed my house once again because i have like a literal obsession with renovating my blocksburg house because i don't know I, I can't come up with one simple design, one simple idea for any room in this house, and I'm going to go ahead and change up another room in the house for the fifth time again. So, like, you know what? Boxburg had this update, and they did this one thing, so I think it's time that we need to do this because I have such a very, very big obsession. Like, my name tag is at a host. We need, we, we need to change it. I have a obsession with renovating builds. Anyways, to ring in the new year, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about each room that has been renovated once again while well, going through the entire house because I did it again. Basically giving a house tour in Bloxburg and just showing you guys what thought processes and giving you some tips on your Bloxburg homes. Because really, we're going to be doing that this year. So first things first off the bat is obviously the one thing I really love in it in a door is the brand new snow texture like Bloxburg now uses regular Roblox terrain if, if you see right here anyways the outside remains literally unchanged except for this one area over here that I just covered in with a floor and it's still it's still down in there if we go into build mode the place is still there so if I remove that and I just go down here like it's it, it's still there you can just clearly see and you can see that i'm just trying to add in another room but anyways that's basically what that is but i literally changed almost everything about this place over here so up there remains unchanged as well but i really really love this right here but i'm changing this up again as well i'm changing up the driveway i keep changing this up too many times but where the real magic is is at the front of the house where i changed most of it and i added I added a third floor. Don't tell me why, but I did. I don't know what thought was going through my head to add a random third floor. Like if you just look up at the roof, like the half of the roof is gone. Like it's not even there anymore. It's like disappeared, but I'm adding, adding a random third floor over here. You can see it over here and you can see this one place over here that's not even going to be used as like a random third floor. I should add more to it so it looks a little bit more normal than just a random room up there that serves no purpose. But the front of the house has definitely changed and I really like this. I think the new design I'm going for is really just going to nail it in the head and just really, really change the way that I feel about homes. And I'm really hoping, please, 2024, please make sure that this stays and I don't change any more of this because I can't keep renovating. I have an obsession. It's, it's too much. Let's head into the house and let's see right here. The foyer. If you guys remember from last year's two or two years ago or three years ago, you know what? I don't know. If you remember from the video I did way back when, when I showed this room, it doesn't look anything like this because now we have these two stairs. I really love these two stairs, but I want to do custom stairs. That's the one thing that I'm going to change about this place. It's just custom stairs, doing a lot of custom, like custom made bookshelves, custom made railings, custom made stairs, custom made doorways, custom made windows. Like, I'm really going to like drain my bank account. Like, you see, I have $4.5 million. It's going to go to $0. Like, goodbye, money. Like, go, go, goodbye, my life. Goodbye, money. Goodbye, everything. Like, seriously, what am I doing with myself? I need to stop. It's just an obsession. But, you know, if we go up here, the wall just goes in here. And you can see some of the old wall color right here that I haven't changed. It bugs me so much. And I really love this ice texture. This ice texture is so nice. And you can see that that also bugs me as well with the old wall texture. You know, a lot of things that you're doing is when you're, when you're building houses, you just don't see everything that you normally do see. And it's just, it's insane. 
it's really insane but i want to go into my favorite bedroom in this house which is this room it's the red room it's my friend's room that she claimed because she really loves red like it's her like favorite color it's like the whole thing and you can obviously see that i'm blue so we have like this color coded kind of thing where she's blue i'm red where i'm blue and she's red anyways that's this room I did a little custom made bench and I really love custom stuff. You can't tell that a lot of the stuff I'm adding into this house is custom. It's because I love custom stuff. Like I think the Bloxburg devs were adding in a lot of custom stuff that we can make. Like with basic shapes. This room really just remains unchanged from the series. But hey, this is my sister's room. Um, but the bathroom, that's something I'm going to change. But anyways, that is that. And... A failed video, a failed video that I tried to do, which is decorating a room in like at least five minutes. I'm going to probably bring that up this year. Probably going to do it this year. Just remove everything from this room and just decorate it in like five minutes. See how much I can do and see an improvement in here. It's just a guest bedroom. It's it's nothing important. Like, let's just leave. Like, no one wants to see a guest bedroom. Like, yuck. Guests. Wow. Why? <laughs> Anyways, out here is the balcony. It's a very big balcony and you can you kind of just see that I just added random stuff in the sitting seat over here that literally no one cares about and then over here is just a blocked off piece of the uh, roof because who care who, who cares anyway it's just literally just a balcony that no one really cares about anyways over there is really nice too I really love that area but now we have to head back downstairs because again that's what it is I'm jumping down here, if you remember the series, we did a kid slash teen room. And in here, I really love this new and reimagined bathrooms. Like, all my bathrooms in my house are not going to be the same anymore. If you go back and watch old videos, I literally just talk about saying, Oh, all the bathrooms are the same, so I'm not going to show you every single bathroom in this house because they're literally all the same. But now they're almost all different because I'm doing a lot of different design stuff in this house. Because I want to change up a lot of stuff in the house so that it just represents modernness and also brings in the cozy feelings and also just brings in different aesthetics into one place because you know i'm evolving my building skills and don't get and don't get me started on the third part to my family suburban home that's coming i'm just too lazy i'm like sitting on the couch eating chips all the time just yeah in here is the space themed toddler room that we decorated on the channel this year which is really 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 amazing i love it um if i already changed something about it probably be with the ceiling but i really love that i probably changed the ceiling to be black so it just fits in with all of that but yeah that's pretty much it for this side of the house but if we go into the living room the living room chef's kiss like i want to thank my friend cammy for coming up with an idea because the tv was literally just sitting right here um, this, these windows didn't used to be here, like, this was, like, filled in with t with a TV and stuff, but I moved it over here, and I'm still working on the fireplace, if you can kind of tell that there was stuff on the floor, but there isn't anymore, but there used to be something right here, um, well, you can see that the picture's right there, and they're all just sitting right there, I guess, but there used to be something right here, but I want to do something, because I might just remove the balcony that sits right over here, because it serves, like, literally no purpose, um, I might change that up, just add the wall there. So I can kind of do like a little custom vanity kind of thing where like have the fireplace, the shelves, and then the TV, and then everything else. But I don't know because it all is going to be based on what I do for decorating for Christmas and stuff. So yeah, that's the living room. It literally is amazing. I love the custom ceilings that I'm starting to do in the house. Really amazing. A lot of basic shapes. So if we come in here, you can obviously see custom ceiling again, but it's so amazing. This is another bathroom. So this is a build hack. Um, I saw this on TikTok. So you basically take a blanket, just put it down, and then color it with a carpet. And then my friend just added structurals to make it kind of look like there's those little fluffy parts of the carpet. It's really nice. And in here, I use one of the new um, shower slash bath things where it's just a shower and bath. I really like it. And then over here, the storage area over there. And I really love that she added that. This is like kind of her like it's her signature thing. And then I can't clutter shelves. Like cluttering shelves is so terrible. But I thank her for doing the clutter work. And just look at this. Look at the outlet with the hair dryer. Like that's just so amazing. So in this room we have another red room. And it's a darker red room. This used to be so bright red that it passed off for pink. And I didn't really like it. 
And again, there's a balcony out here, which I think I'm going to keep the balcony, but just remove the balcony from the living room. Unless I keep it and want to go for symmetrical, but that literally does not look symmetrical to that side because there's no windows over there. So, um, yeah, that's kind of an issue that I kind of have. And then in here, it's just a walk-in closet. Really like it. Really don't care for it either, too. So, who cares? Anyways, so if we come down here, it's a new room. So, the toddler room, if you can tell, this is used to be the old toddler room. Over here, the toddler such kid room, as you can tell by the wall design over here. But I just basically sliced those rooms in half. If you checked my um, my video, if you watched that video, I'm going to just like put it up on the screen over here. You can just go ahead and check that video out because I keep mentioning it with these two rooms. But I just downsized the rooms and added more rooms. And I don't know why I need more rooms in this house. Like, literally, who's going to be playing in this house except for me? Like, I have such a huge house for no reason. Why did I do a mansion? Why Why did I do this? I don't know. Anyways, that's that room. Doesn't need much explanation. And then down here, it's just another bedroom. I don't know why I have so many bedrooms, but that's literally what's going to be happening in this house. It's just a lot of bedrooms. But I love this because I cluttered this room myself. I added so much in this room for myself that was all me so i didn't have any help with cluttering but i really like this um it's nice and neat i guess and then in here is the laundry room this has remained unchanged so anyways the laundry room this is turning into like a new year house tour kind of thing so but yeah the curtains opening and closing love that but yeah if i were to change the laundry room i'll probably change it up just a little bit but not that much because i love the laundry room and I hate it when people go into my house and they don't close the doors after themselves. Like, hello, the door was closed first. Close it yourself again. Down here is just inside of the basement. You can see the garage. I changed up the garage a lot. But this is this room. I really love this room because this was, this was the first room I did when I named the when I renamed this series from renovating my Bloxburg house to the series being named Bloxburg Fixer Upper, which I want to continue Bloxburg Fixer Upper. Just a little bit different and just not having it be the mansion episodes. But this is the first thing I did when I rebranded the series to Bloxburg Fixer Upper, and I just worked and played with a lot of different textures, and I think it looks really nice because it's not all one texture, it's different textures, and it just makes the room pop a little bit. And then in here, um, if you remember the video I did for, oh, I don't even have, I don't even have um, a light in here. I should add a light, but it looks super, super dark in here without the light. But yeah, I changed up the theater. Can the TV actually turn on? Okay, there we go. So I changed on up the theater. There's black seats now instead of the original ones in there, um, it's a carpet floor too, and they just remove the railings on each, and I added some cups on the side, so that's really nice and amazing. And in here, it just remains unchanged. Um, in the bathroom, still the old style bathroom, so no one really cares about that. Anyways, back to upstairs. So this room, I'm demolishing it. It's gonna be destroyed, like blown up. Oh, goodbye. Anyways. That's pretty much it. This is the gym. I don't touch the gym. I don't go into the gym. I don't like the gym. So it's going to be moved to the basement where I can just forget about it. And so that no one ever has to see this room. And it doesn't give me and my friend flashbacks to a room we never go into. But anyways, that's the gym. Let's get out of there before I start, you know, crying. Anyways, this is my other friend's room. This is called the duck room. And it's so iconic because um, there's just ducks everywhere. If you remember what the old design was, it was so small. And I just kind of opened it up, kind of just redid a lot of stuff. But it's still the same. And I don't like how the floor looks like that. You know, my design choices I make are just stupid and dumb. Don't listen to me. Anyways, yes, do listen to me to my design choices. Take notes. Literally, take out your notepads and start taking notes because this house is amazing. I love it. I secretly hate it. Like, shh, no one needs to know that. So, I don't know what that was, but let's leave the internet issues in 2023, please. Like, get that far away from me. I don't need that. Like, new year, new internet problems, please, no. New year, new me, new everything. Like, seriously, let's bring in the good energy. We don't want those bad vibes in the other year. Like, we need new people here. I think this is a good spot to end this part of the video. Like, 
Anyways, the video's not ending. Hello, my name is Nikki. I am a Roblox and Minecraft YouTuber who posts Minecraft content whenever I feel like it. You know, but I post mainly Roblox content, and I post a lot of Bloxburg. So if you love Bloxburg and you love Roblox, definitely consider subscribing. Only 93% of you who are watching this video are not subscribed. So I highly encourage you to go ahead and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and if you have Discord, to join my Discord server, because you can get faster notifications when joining my Discord server. I am planning on uploading every single day in 2024, hopefully starting next month or in, in a couple weeks. Just whenever I can get myself on track to do all that but anyways i plan on doing that so definitely sit here through 2024 because i plan on being more consistent because this will be my year of filming and this will be my year of uploading and hopefully this will be my year to rise up in the blacksburg and roblox community on youtube and just have a few videos on minecraft and i might move over to another channel so just to differentiate between the contents but anyways let's get back to the normal video so over here if we walk over here there's a lot of stuff that is different as well if you can tell that the floor is kind of different i don't know how i feel about the floor tell me how you feel about the floor do you like it because i don't know if i like it anyways over here we have the brand new and improved kitchen and don't mind the mess because there's a lot of christmas stuff i never got to finish baking all the christmas stuff because my friend who is um kind of lazy had me bake everything she's not lazy we literally were talking in DMs when the update dropped, and we were just talking about how how I thought it was and stuff. So I was kind enough to bag all of these items because I had nothing to do, and the update was literally dropping, and we had no time to get on Bloxburg and just bake all the new items, like the rice cakes and the mince pies and stuff like that. We had like, literally no time, so... The update dropped and I was not even finished baking. But anyways, this is my brand new kitchen. I love green kitchens. Like I think my my obsession with kitchens, like I express this in like almost every video I talk about houses. Like my obsession with kitchens is amazing. So when I build houses, I make sure that the house that the kitchen is really good. But then I also change the kitchen up so many times. Like the last time I did this video, I said that my kitchen was amazing. I loved it so much that I always make sure that I love the kitchen, that I have the kitchen that I want but in every single house I build. But I think this is the kitchen I actually want because it's small enough. It is, you know, amazing enough. Is that a word? Amazing enough? And then it kind of just separates that part over here because the table used to be so close to the wall. But now it kind of just separates the dining area too. So I really enjoy that. It's really amazing. Over here is the nursery. Remains unchanged. This is like the most iconic room in my house is the nursery, and I love it so much. I think everyone... So, this is the most iconic room in the house, and I probably will change it just a little bit, just to change the color from linen, or keep the linen, because it's not an over an excessive use of linen. Tip for everyone out there, if you're going to build a house and use linen, please don't use linen everywhere. Just use it on some things, like... Like, you know, just like linen there, linen there. Just don't use linen everywhere because it gets overused and excessive. Like, no one likes linen that much. Like, if you like linen that much, you were lying to yourself. Anyways, I call this the green room. It's literally just green, that's it. That's the catch to it. Literally just green. Clutter everywhere. Yeah, green and bathroom. That's it. Now, I don't know what else you want me to say about that room, but the magic really happens in the basement. This will be the first, well not the first room, this will be a room I do in the basement on stream. So if you are excited to see me decorate and give tips on stream, definitely go ahead and hop on stream and watch me do rooms like those. Over here is the study room. Nothing much to it than just a room where you can sit, relax, and just study. I have like so many rooms in this house, I just don't know what to use. And here is the very, very, very pink teen girl room. It's like, it's like the color pink walked in and just vomited all over the room to make everything pink. Like, that's how it feels. That's how I feel about this room. I don't know what was going through my mind with this room. And I know how, I like how I said that I was going to talk about what went through in my mind in every room and I just didn't do it. But I don't know what was going through my mind in this room to make this pink and girly and gross, but 
we have that one of my favorite rooms in this house is has to be the new and improved storage room like this nice little area over here all this over here the custom carpet which you saw in the kitchen the front like the middle pieces over here separated by a basic shape wall i really like it it's really nice it's really amazing love that like if you want to make your rooms pop and your stuff abc to do my house we got off track there but if you really want to make rooms pop just literally just fill it up with what stuff you feel like will fit like custom items these cabinets to make like you know kind of a custom shelf just kind of just fill it up with stuff that goes with the room it's really nice and amazing over here is a bedroom that I'm kind of starting, as you can see that the bed is over here. Um, I'm starting this room. Don't know what else I want to do with it. That's pretty much it. But the real magic is in this room over here, which I don't know why I'm lagging so much. Can this person, Jack, just not knock on my door? Um, but over here, if you can definitely see, this is my garage. I have like every single car in existence. I have the new truck, obviously, if you kept up with the Elfhunt videos, I have the truck. Um, but back here is what I'm going to change. So back here, I'm going to have, like, you know, not a lot. But there's going to be, like, doorways to, like, different rooms that I have in the house. And as you can see, kind of, this is what I was talking about, about the um, custom carpet. It's kind of just going to go straight through there. So I'll probably do, like, another basic shape ceiling in the garage. Like, really just, like, you can, you can obviously see the linens at overly used again in this room. Um, but it's not too overly used, but I'm changing up my garage kind of again, like for like the nine billion time so that the garage is more garage and just not much of whatever this monstrosity is, but that's pretty much the entire house. Not really. Cause we still have to go upstairs to like two rooms, but that's pretty much the house. That's pretty much what I've been doing all 2023. Kind of like a 2023 recap house tour kind of thing. That's what I'm doing. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of just rambling at this point. Anyways, first things first is showcasing my Bloxburg bedroom, which right here. The Halloween haunting quest completed presented to yours truly. My closet, nothing really much. And as you can see... We have an Ariana Grande picture there because I'm literally obsessed with her. More Ariana Grande because I'm obsessed with her. But I really like this custom wall that I did right over here with these um, structural items. It really brings the nice and the custom ceiling. So you can kind of see that the custom ceilings are kind of the same around the house. But I really love it because I have an obsession with making things custom. But over here we obviously have all of this. The snow globe. Um, in here is the bathroom, and I want to thank Cammy once again for cluttering this bathroom up. I couldn't have done this in a million years. I'm still learning. Hopefully, I can get some more. Like, I think over here was literally my own doing with the clutter. That's pretty much it. But, yeah, the shower is an amazing part. Like, this door is custom. Not really custom, but this whole shower is custom. I really enjoy it. Really, really like this. But yeah, more Ariana Grande because I adore her. More Ariana because I adore her. Literally a picture that hasn't changed. Um, Taylor Swift because I also adore her. Like, just filled with Ariana and then you just have Taylor Swift. Ariana because I adore her. But yeah, this room did change. If you go ahead and look back in the playlist of my Bloxburg renovations, obviously the room didn't look like this. But I really like the way I redid the room because it's really nice and amazing. <laughs> Now here is just the balcony but yeah down here is my garden it used to be a pool but i kept the pool at the, the bottom but i just added this to be like a garden really love and enjoy it it's really amazing i love how this place really turned out I, I can't get it. thank you anyways we're gonna head upstairs of the stairs because i'm not going through that elevator again and we're gonna head over here to my home office unchanged no one really cares about it that's pretty much it and that's pretty much the house and that's pretty much 2023 all there um there are secret rooms in this house um but i'm not going to show you the secret rooms because that's the part of the secret it's supposed to be a secret and it's a room that's a secret oh i left a gift right there i gotta remove that 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much 2023 in a nutshell from what I did. Um, and this is pretty much the recap of 2023. Um, thank you so much for a wonderful 2023, and I hope to have more moments in 2024, hopefully better moments than just renovating my house, because it's kind of boring if you think about it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and welcome 2024, and welcome new year, new us, new me, new everything, and I can't wait to see you guys when I post another video, whenever that will be. It's really random, I could be gone for like a month and post another video, or I could upload every single day, be gone, and then post another video. But anyways, I hope to be more consistent in 2024, so thank you so much for riding along with me on this, so I'll see you guys all later. Bye!